hello church family. This is Nathan Sandon, the Senior Minister of Oste through Anglican Church. And I thought I would just quickly put together a slightly longer explanation from our social media external video. And that is, this video is more directed to the church family. I just want to let you know that, of course, in line with the Premier's announcement at 2pm this afternoon on the 26th of June, we go into lockdown for the next two weeks. And can I encourage you, the big news is we'll just continue to follow the New South Wales public health orders uh, as we track along. But as we do that, can I first of all encourage you to please continue to track along with us at Oste Online. That will begin even this weekend, uh, starting Sunday. We will have a sermon and we'll have the Word of God brought to bear as we particularly finish our time in Galatians. So can I encourage you to do that? Friends, we've been here before and we know that the church itself is not shut down. The church is God's people and the gospel cannot be chained, it cannot be bound, and his spirit cannot be bound either. So even in the midst of this next few weeks, I want to encourage you in that respect. But I also want to just quickly share three quick words of encouragement from the passage in Galatians that we finished this week. The first encouragement is to persevere and to press on and not grow weary. Look at this from Galatians chapter 6. Verse 9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Friends, we don't want to give up and we don't want to grow weary in doing good. Friends, persevere and let's do that together as the church of God here in Oste Thirul. Second word of encouragement as we consider about that not growing weary and not giving up but continuing to do good, look at what it says is to do good to all people. Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all people. Second word of encouragement, can I encourage you? Something that we learned last time in the first lockdown was that this is actually a wonderful time that we can actually love and do good for our surrounding community. So let me ask you this week, even as a family or as a household or as an individual, what might you be able to do practically speaking to reach out Perhaps it's knocking on someone's door. Perhaps it's putting a note under someone's door. Maybe it's making a phone call to someone in your street. Let me remind you of the wonderful ministry initiative of For the Love Of, which is seeking to feed those people that are struggling. So that might be something that you might be able to practically put into place over the next two weeks. The third and final encouragement from God's word, Galatians chapter 6, is let us not give up becoming doing good, For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all people, but especially to those who belong to the family of God. Friends, a lot of people sort of forget that last challenge that we talk quickly about loving our community and loving those around us. But the scriptures are actually very clear that we're to actually love the brothers and sisters we have in Christ. So again, can I just put before you this very practical challenge of how you might do good or show love to a brother or sister in Christ over this next two weeks. Again, can I encourage you, maybe that's to pick up the phone and ring someone from church. How are you going? Can I pray for you? Is there anything that you need help with right now? And I'm talking about other brothers and sisters in Christ. Can I encourage you to consider caring for one another over this next two weeks? But again, let me finish by encouraging you to persevere, to press on and not grow weary and not give up Friends, we have a wonderful gospel message to share with a very broken and needy world. Friends, we've been through this before, and I encourage you to continue to track along with us, either here online with our social media or with Osti online, which can be found at our website at any time as well. Thank you for listening to me, and hopefully very soon, once again, we'll be able to be meeting face-to-face, and I look forward to that time very soon. See you.